Hi everyone, Matt Smart is here. Today we are going to learn how to find HCF in 5 seconds. So, what is HCF? Yes, it's the highest common factor. But what is the definition, the meaning? HCF is the largest positive integer that divides a set of the integers without a remainder. Got it? Now let's find out what are the methods of finding HCF. Factor method, prime factor method, power method, finally, Maths Master Special 5 Second Shortcut. Okay, let's learn all these methods in next few minutes. First method is the factor method. Let's learn how to find HEF of 12 and 20 using the factor method. What are the factors of 12? What are the numbers that divide 12 without a remainder? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So, what are the factors of 20? 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Now, what are the common factors of 12 and 20? It's 1, 2, and 4. Among them, 4 is the highest, right? So, highest common factor of 12 and 20 is 4. Easy, right? Now, let's find the HCF of 24 and 60. What are the factors of 24? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. What are the factors of 60? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. Now, what are the common factors of 24 and 60? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Among them, 12 is the highest, right? So, highest common factor of 24 and 60 is 12. Pretty easy, right? Now, let's find the HCF of 50 and 75. What are the factors of 50? 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50. What are the factors of 75? 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and 75. Now, what are the common factors of 50 and 75? It's 1, 5, and 25. Among them, 25 is the highest, right? So, highest common factor of 50 and 75 is 25. Okay? Now, let's find HCF of 150 and 200 using the factor method. What are the factors of 150? It's 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, 25, 30, 50, 75, and 150. What are the factors of 200? It's 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, 25, 40, 50, 100, 200. Now, what are the common factors of 150 and 200? It's 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50. Among them, 50 is the largest. Okay? So, highest common factor of 150 and 200 is 50. Next method is prime factor method. Putting a number as a product of prime numbers is known as the prime factors. Let's find out the HCF of 12 and 20 using the prime factor method. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2, 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we can write 12 as 2 into 2 into 3. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we can write 20 as 2 into 2 into 5. Now you can see that there are common prime factors in 12 and 20. Here, 
there's a pair of 2 and there's another pair of 2. So, 2 by 2 is 4, right? So, highest common factor of 12 and 20 is 4. Now, let's find the HCF of 24 and 60. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, we can write 24 as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. 60 divided by 2 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, we can write 60 as 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So, what are the common prime factors? There's a pair of 2, there's another pair of 2 and there's a pair of 3. So, 2 into 2 into 3 which is 12. So, highest common factor of 24 and 60 is 12. Got it? Now let's find the HCF of 50 and 75. 50 divided by 2 is 25. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we can write 50 as 2 into 5 into 5. 75 divided by 3 is 25. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we can write 75 as 3 into 5 into 5. So what are the common prime factors of 50 and 75? There's a pair of 5, there's a pair of 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. So HCF of 50 and 75 is 25. Got it? Now let's find the HCF of 150 and 200. 150 divided by 2 is 75. 75 divided by 3 is 25. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So 150 can be written as 2 times, 3 times, 5 times, 5. 200 divided by 2 is 100. 100 divided by 2 is 50. 50 divided by 2 is 25. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So 200 is 2 times, 2 times, 2 times, 5 times, 5. So what are the common prime factors of 150 and 200? There's a pair of 2, there's a pair of 5, there's a pair of another 5. So 2 times 5 times 5 is 50. So highest common factor of 150 and 200 is 50. Pretty easy, right? Now let's find the HCF of 50 and 75 using the power method. 75 divided by 3 is 25. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So 75 is 5 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 1. 50 divided by 2 is 25, 25 divided by 5 is 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1. So 50 is 5 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 1. Now we have to balance the powers. We have to add a 2 to the power 0 to 75 and a 3 to the power 0 into 50. We have to take the lowest powers. Since we have 5 to the power 2 in both the numbers, we have to take one of them. Then 3 to the power 0 is the lowest and 2 to the power 0 is the lowest. So highest common factor is 2 to the power 0 and 3 to the power 0 and 5 to the power 2. So highest common factor is 1 into 1 into 25 which is 25. So highest common factor of 50 and 75 is 25. Now let's find the highest common factor of 150 and 200 using the power method. 150 divided by 2 is 75, 75 divided by 3 is 25, 25 divided by 5 is 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 
So we can write 150 as 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 2. 200 divided by 2 is 100. 100 divided by 2 is 50. 50 divided by 2 is 25. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So 200 is 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 2. Okay, now we have to balance the powers. The only power we have to balance is 3. So we have to add a 3 to the power 0 to 200. Now let's take the lowest powers for highest common factor. So it's 2 to the power 1 and 3 to the power 0 and 5 to the power 2. So 2 to the power 1 is 2, 3 to the power 0 is 1, 5 to the power 2 is 25. So 2 times 1 times 25 is 50. So highest common factor of 150 and 200 is 50. Okay, now let's learn how to find HCF in power method. Let's find HCF of 12 and 20 using the power method. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, we can write 12 as 2 to the power 2 and 3 to the power 1. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we can write 20 as 2 to the power 2 and 5 to the power 1. Now we have to balance the numbers. So we have to add a 3 to the power 0 and a 5 to the power 0. Got it? Now we have to take the lowest powers of every number. So we have a 2 to the power 2 and another 2 to the power 2. Since it is same, we have to take one of them. We have a 3 to the power 1 and a 3 to the power 0. From them, we have to take a 3 to the power 0. From 5 to the power 1 and 5 to the power 0, we have to take this 5 to the power 0. So, HCF is 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 0 into 5 to the power 0. So, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 3 to the power 0 is 1, 5 to the power 0 is 1 because any number 0 index is 1. Got it? So 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. Therefore, highest common factor of 12 and 20 is 4. This is the power method. Got it? Now let's find the HCF of 24 and 60 using the power method. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we can write 24 as 2 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 1. 60 divided by 2 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we can write 60 as 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 1. Now we have to balance the powers. Since we have 2 to the powers and 3 to the powers in both the numbers, we had to add only the 5 to the power 0 to balance the powers. Now we have to take the lowest powers. So it is 2 to the power 2. 3 to the power 1 and 5 to the power 0. HCF is 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 0. So 4 into 3 into 1 is 12. Therefore, highest common factor of 24 and 60 is 12. Now let's learn how to find the highest common factor using the Maths Master Special 5 second shortcut. Let's find the highest common factor of 12 and 20. So what is the largest number that divides 12 and 20 together? It is 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 20 divided by 4 is 5. You cannot divide 3 and 5 again. So 4 will be the answer. Highest common factor of 12 and 20 is 4. Now let's find the highest common factor of 24 and 60. Now 
can you tell a number that divides 24 and 60 at once? You can see a 6, right? So 24 divided by 6 is 4, 60 divided by 6 is 10. But you can see, you can divide 4 and 10 again by a 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So highest common factor is 6 into 2, which is 12. But I think some of you see another number. What is that number? Yes, it is 12. You can see that 24 and 60 can be divided by 12 at once. Okay, let's find the HCF of 50 and 75. Can you see a number that divides 50 and 75 at once? I can see a 25. So 50 divided by 25 is 2. 75 divided by 25 is 3. You cannot divide 2 and 3 again. So 25 is the highest common factor of 50 and 75. Okay, now let's find the HCF of 150 and 200 using this 5 second shortcut. You can see that 150 and 200 can be divided by 50 directly. So 150 divided by 50 is 3, 200 divided by 50 is 4. So highest common factor of 150 and 200 is 50. Got it? Now, if you can't find 50 directly, you might find 10 first. So 150 divided by 10 is 15, 200 divided by 10 is 20. Now then you can divide 15 and 20 by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3, 20 divided by 5 is 4. So you can multiply 10 and 15 to take the HCF as 50. Got it? So it doesn't matter how many steps you are taking, but it's better you can do it very fast. I will see you again with the shortcut of LCM or lowest common multiple. Until then, goodbye.